I actually learned something recently, which kind of shocked me, which is that RAS inhibition only has an additional independent kidney protective benefit in patients with proteinuria, right? Other than that, it just has the benefit of blood pressure lowering like any other blood pressure medication. So in a patient with very elevated levels of albumin in the urine, I'm really, really pushing those ACEs and ARBs. And even if that patient has hyperkalemia, I might still push the ACEs and ARBs and, and put them on a potassium binder. Whereas, you know, if I had a patient, even if they were relatively late stage CKD, but they had no albumin in their urine and things seemed to be relatively stable, if they had hyperkalemia, I would avoid an ACE and an ARB, and I would just lower their blood pressure using other agents. So albumin arguably has a more influence on management than GFR, yet it's something that we measure much less than we should.